Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So Tiafimo Lopez was at the David Benavidez, Demetrius uh, Andre fight. And he was asked about the whole Ryan Garcia situation. Let me play this quick clip for y'all. Benavidez has a good chance of, if not beating him, beating Canelo like people did. Tio, there's a lot of excitement. Tio, we're fighting. There's a lot of excitement about what's next for you. Uh, I saw um, a, a something go out earlier saying you turned down the Ryan Garcia fight. Can you tell me why? Sorry, guys. When you're the best, when you are the guy, when you bring major sponsors, endorsements, big major business deals, when you offer me a 1.5 stake in the piece, fuck you. So, no. So, that was Tiafimo Lopez talking about why he turned down the Ryan Garcia fight. Now, let me unpack what he what he said. He's talking about he's the best and he's the face of boxing. And I will give him this. Tiafimo is he, he's a very he's a solid fighter, right? He had 3 of the the four belts. He did beat Lomachenko, so I'm going to give him that. And he uh he did move up to 140 and he did beat Josh Taylor for the WBO belt, which the WBO was pretty much affiliated with top rank, but whatever. So he did move up and 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 he did beat uh Josh Taylor in the decision when everybody thought that Tia Fimo was gonna lose. I'm even wondering the top rank think he was gonna lose, and then that was a whole spectacle. People was thinking something was wrong with him, and so anyway, so Tio says he's a, he he's one of the best. Then while you did beat Lomachenko, I will give you that. You haven't fought Tank Davis, you haven't fought Shakur Stevenson, and you haven't fought Devin Haney. Now, Tia Fimo, he never, in my opinion, he never was gonna fight Devin Haney. He was gonna hold on to the belt, and he thought he was gonna. Skated by with George Cambosis. But then that didn't happen. He lost to Cambosis. He moves up to 140 and the rest is history. So, okay. So, since you're the best, right? And now that you, Ryan, and Devin's at 140, when Devin gets his belt, why y'all can't unify? Why y'all can't be, why y'all can't fight for the WBC, WBO belt at 140 pounds? And honestly, if you were to fight Ryan and beat Ryan, that's a really great look on your resume. And again, do I think Tiafimo Lopez is a is a is a good good solid fighter? Absolutely. But you got to fight the best of the best. Now, if he cleans up his division at 140, I'll go in here in a minute. Yeah, he the best at 140. But no, we got to whoa. You know, we understand you got one of the belts, but there's four different champions at 140. At least unify something. But I don't think Tia Fimo is going to fight any of these guys. If he does, it'll probably be at 147. And, you know, how you the face of boxing, but he the same person that was riding around in New York City with a on the back of a um, garbage truck and said that he, he makes more money doing that than with top rank and they're not paying him what he's worth and they don't care about him and yeah and then he says some borderline stuff but i'll make another video for that so yeah y'all hear it you know that's just my quick two cents on it do y'all think timo fema lopez is the best at 140 let me know in the comments